hey guys so welcome back to the garage so finally it's the day i'm working on the e-bike project so what you are seeing in front of you the bike is pulsar 150 uh, i don't know the exact model here i guess it is somewhere around 2013 i guess so the reason why we chose this is uh, this bike is really freaking rigid okay so there are multiple reasons why we went with this bike and not any other bike but uh, uh, that will be shared later on in this video first let me introduce to my friend so this guy in blue t-shirt is Machendra he is one of my good friends and even he is employed at guest electric vehicles and the other guy who is wearing white shirt his name is Shashan and the person in the pink formal t-shirt and brown trousers and nice belly he is the owner of this showroom where I am working currently I hope he doesn't see this video I am really proud of this guy I'm re and at the same time I am really thankful that he gave me such a good opportunity to work in his organization so I am really thankful for that thank you so much so, okay so you might be wondering about uh, what this video is going to be about so I have planned to start with a new series that I am working on right now this project is about converting a petrol bike into an electric uh, so this is somewhat you can call conversion process uh, where we are converting a petrol vehicle into an electric uh, which is going to be pure electric not a hybrid one okay so for those who don't know what exactly hybrid vehicles are so hybrid is nothing but a vehicle that is powered by multiple I mean not exactly multiple two or more types of power sources you might have seen the old mopeds even those used to be hybrid it used to have a paddle and as well as the engines so any vehicle so basically any vehicle that is powered by two or more types of power sources is called as an hybrid so i didn't went with the hybrid i went with this bike as full electric as we are based on electric vehicles mobility so that's why we are working with it so you might be wondering like how did i got here how did i end up coming here okay so so i was in fourth semester of my bachelor's in mechanical engineering if you don't know so that's what i'm pursuing right now and uh, it was the month of march it was almost the end of march i guess when first lockdown was announced and so what i did was i just spending the days at my home at my comfort zone and that's what i did for like then what i did for rest of two months was just sitting at home and scrolling the feeds watching the youtube videos and having three times stomach full of meals and sleeping for 12 hours this is what i what all i did for the rest of the two months from the march 23rd and i was completely depressed at the time and i saw that i didn't have any growth and it was the time that when i thought no this has to be changed some or the other way so what I did was I started planning what I'm going to do and where I'm going to see myself in another 5 or 10 years. So I came to a conclusion that I want to be an entrepreneur and I want to have my own automotive manufacturing brand and even if this wasn't possible I at least wanted to work with any of the market leading any of the automotive manufacturers such as Lamborghini, Ferraris and so but it was highly difficult to get there so I started planning a step by step procedure then what I did was then I came to know I have to start somewhere small and I came to know few of the electric vehicle companies those are in my city itself that for that I don't have to go anywhere else outside and it was completely pandemic so uh, all the interstate was also restricted so I had to stay in my city itself so I googled some of the companies or dealerships that are there in the Belgaum itself and then what I did was I started uh, searching for resumes and CVs that how you should 
make your CVs more attractive. Then soon enough I went into MS Word and started writing the resume as for the specific organization. Then the next day itself I went and took the printouts of the, that CV. I remember that I took like 3 or 6 printouts I guess of the same CV and I was highly focusing on the electric vehicle segment so there were like few dealerships in my city so I had made uh, the CV specifically uh, mentioning about the electric vehicle industry designing and all those things and then on that day itself I started going to these dealerships and I do some of my CVs here and there and, and I was just hoping that someone will, will call and so that I can go and join there and learn from them. So this was I guess first week of June. It was my last CV left and that I I had dropped into this organization called KC Electric Vehicle. So what exactly is this? So the KC is the last name of the owner where I am working right now. So it was 6th of June and I went and I submitted my CV or resume whatever you call it. I just went and submitted it right there and I was just hoping that someone of the 6 guys might call and so that I can go and join them. So it was almost the month end and no one responded to my resume. It was I guess 30th of June. Yeah, it was 30th of June. Okay, and no one responded. And then on 3rd of July, I got a call from uh, this owner that is uh, of KST Electric Vehicle saying that uh, we have we do have some vacancies uh, you can come and show up we would like to take your interview and I was fucking happy about that so very next day I went there and uh, he took my interview he, he was uh, really happy with that and then he asked few questions like where do I stay, what I'm right now I'm doing, what are my future plans and then he came on to a question started asking about automotive industry and I was like yeah man, come on not this question as soon as he came, he came on to that topic I started vomiting like anything I told every single thing I knew about the automotive and he was highly impressed about that so he didn't tell me uh, on that day itself whether I am going to be hired or not but on the very next day he, I got a call from the owner and uh, uh, he told me that you won't be allowed to work here as an employee as you are right now you are studying so uh, still you can work with us uh, as an intern. So I was not that much happy about that but still I got an opportunity that I didn't want it to miss. So I was like yeah it's okay, I, uh, it's fine with me, I am ready to work with you as an intern.